I just grown? But there are no roots, no herbs. What are you looking at, Jonathan? The garden is in disorder. I want it to be right again, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Before I became prior, I thought the same about Kingsbridge. Well, what did you do? I cleaned up. Where do we start? Hmm. Hmm. Some plants are weeds and must go before we can plant new seeds. What are weeds? They take away what the other plants need to grow. Light, water, room. What do we do? Pluck them. They look a lot like every other plant, so you need to learn how to tell them apart. Here, you see those? They're called wood sorrel. Let's pluck only those for now. I'll do it. If you insist. Make sure to pull out all of the thin roots. And now what do I do? For plants to take root, the soil must be loose and fertile. So, may I dig now? Done. What's next? Stay here. I'll be right back. Now, where did you put them? Ah, here they are. I found these nuts for you. Remember, Milius. You always said that one day there will be a beech tree growing here. I think it's about time. Do you remember Milius? A kind man with a warm smile. Well, he told me to give you this. Wow! Now we just have to wait. All right. Um, how long? Too long for us to keep sitting here. Uh, that long. 
long. Some things take time. And only with patience will you receive your reward. Why do we have to do all these things if all we had to do is wait? Simply waiting would not have been enough, Jonathan. You just paved the way for things to take their course. They are happening right now. And in a few days' time, we will return and see the first green leaf of something new. Oh. Um, is it God's reward? Maybe. Does he make things grow? You made it. No, I just planted the seed. Hmm. Now you can fetch some water from the rain barrel. But that water's smelly. It's been there forever. There are many trees by the river. I bet that water's better. That's a longer walk, though. I don't mind. The distance is worth it. Maybe you're right. It is worth it. Let's walk together, then. But I'll carry the bucket. Why isn't Remedius holding the sermon? What's gotten into Philip? Our church lies in ruins. But all of this, these dire times, have revealed something important to us. Something that until, maybe until today, I wasn't aware of. What do you mean? You've been praying in these ruins. But you've been praying like you always did, in humbleness. We don't need a church for prayer. Where else are we going to pray? The chapter house? The church is where God resides. God doesn't work in the ways we might assume. Today, Jonathan tended to our garden to make it beautiful again. And he told me of things I almost had forgotten. Good and evil are not in here or out there. They are within each of us. God made us in his image. Thus, we carry the godly spark within us. But we have witnessed that man can have the devil in his heart as well. Prayer needs no special place, for we are his church. In our actions, he exists. We are God's temple. No man is closer to God than any other man. Whether you pray in church or on the streets of our towns. Whether you're a man, woman, monk or bishop. Philip, look outside. You have to see them. You've got to see the horses and the colors. Jonathan. Now, what's going on? I'm, I heard noises and I went to look. Calm down. What happened? But the priest said they brought a miracle. Who? What? What priest? Step right up, brothers and sisters. For you are about to see something that will change your life. Who is that? 
They brought us a miracle. A miracle? Don't be shy. There is no danger. Just awe that awaits you here. Ah, you must be Prior Philip. I am Brother Reynold. I have been sent by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Here is his letter, in case you have reasonable doubts. We've been charged to accompany the Weeping Madonna. She is to replace the loss of your relic, Saint Adolphus the Martyr, who was taken from you, I hear, with brute force. What? On her travel from far away Africa, she has collected donations to reward Kingsbridge for your faith in her and in the Lord. I can't believe this. What is all this? You do believe. That is why she came. And that is why you shall witness her miracle for yourself today. <gasps> the Weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized Saracen was her former guardian. And I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? A Saracen? I knew not her powers or destination. Nevertheless, I carried her for many miles. Many bore witness to her miracle before it dawned upon me. She wanted to go home. But where? It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. But I wondered, what shrine should be her shelter? This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. She said, You shall build me a new church in Kingsbridge. So we set off, with the blessing of Archbishop Theobald of Canterbury. And along the road, from Paris, across Normandy, over the sea, and all the way to Kingsbridge. Devout Christians have given money for the building of the Church of the Weeping Madonna. This church of Kingsbridge. The Weeping Madonna has chosen you, all of you. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. The Weeping Madonna has chosen you, all of you. And I will tell you again, she is a true miracle that will change your life as she changed mine. Many bore witness to her miracle before it dawned upon me. She wanted to go home, but where? It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. What country did you say you came from? We have traveled all the way from a place of wonders too marvelous to behold. The faraway land of Africa. Africa has many countries, I've heard. Yes, it does. I could have continued to carry her from town to town until my flesh succumbed. But this was not her will. But I wondered, 
What shrine should be her shelter? What's it like in Africa? The sun is always shining, and miracles happen every day. It's a land of great deserts, fig trees, and creatures that an Englishman can't even dream up. Like these horses. Are they horses? They are not. To you, they might resemble horses, but the name the Africans have for these creatures is impossible to pronounce, even for me. You heard me correctly. It was a long journey. You mentioned there were fig trees in Africa. What are they? It's, uh, it's a fruit, of course. It looks like a strawberry and tastes like a pear. The scripture mentions these figs, and they sound nothing like that. Why is that? No two apples look or taste alike. Uh, the same goes for figs, and doubly so. I'm getting the impression that this man has never even been to Africa. But why would he lie? Hmm. You must wonder, why was King's Bridge chosen to be the home of the Holy Virgin? She said, You shall build me a new church in Kingsbridge! The weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized Saracen was her former guardian, and I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? A Saracen? And I will tell you again. She is a true miracle that will change your life as she changed mine. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. I could have continued to carry her from town to town until my flesh so But I wondered, what shrine should be her shelter? This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. You must be thinking, how can you My be dear so people! Oh, oh, I'm so excited to see a true miracle. Did you hear that? The Madonna has chosen us. She's come... She's come all the way from Africa. Uh, um. In the beginning, I was not. I only had my faith. I knew not her powers or destination. Tell me the truth. Why are you here? We are guardians of the Holy Virgin that sheds tears. We were appointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, but it was the Holy Virgin herself who chose us while she traveled through Europe. Oh yes, how did that happen? She speaks without words. Nevertheless, I carried her for many miles. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters, the Weeping Madonna has they chosen you. They look almost you. like Horses. You. you heard me Hollow. correctly. Feels like a wicker it basket a covered in pelt. Journey. The weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized Saracen was her former guardian. And I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? A Saracen? And I will tell you again. I am Philip. She is a Who are you, young man? That will change your life as she changed mine. Why are you hiding? Many mm -hmm. more witness to mm. her miracle before it dawned upon me. She wanted to go home. That's not when? fit for a shrine. It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. You must wonder, why was Kingsbridge chosen to be the home of the Holy Virgin? She said, you shall... Be so we set off with the blessing of Archbishop Theobald of Canterbury. 
And I will tell you... Can you feel it? Brothers and sisters, you are about to witness a miracle. The Madonna knows how you have suffered. The Virgin Mother had to witness the rise and fall of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and never stopped believing. Kingsbridge has endured many hardships. Prior James left you before his time when you needed him the most. Your old cathedral was burned to the ground. How do you know this? And your new one collapsed even before construction was finished. You have suffered the ruthless destruction of your market, homes and lives. Dada. All of you have lost husbands, wives and children, family and friends. Dada. All of you know how it is to be hungry and a Jack. Aliena. Philip. But this is a miracle, isn't it? Or something along those lines. But how? We thought it was time to give Tommy a home. The boy? Your boy? Well, Philip? Do you recognize him? Our little Tommy? Tommy? But... but... Just what are you doing here with these people? Do you think I wouldn't notice it's all artifice? Your camels or horses? Your shrine is an old cart with decorations? And Reynold is just a dubious man speaking nothing but lies. The camels were a bit much, weren't they? With the Madonna, we were able to collect donations for your priory and for Kingsbridge. Really? We can start anew. We can rebuild the cathedral. What's the catch? I'll get to be Master Builder. Why? I've studied the cathedrals, churches, and houses they build in France and Spain. I saw how different their constructions were, with new shapes, colors, and ideas. Oh, you should have seen it. They combined rib vaulting and pointed arches. I want to do that. That's why. Why here? Because this is home. The townspeople probably think that's enough to build a whole cathedral. But to me, it looks like about a hundred pounds. You know, that won't even pay for a year's work. Like all of this, it's a symbol. Enough for a fresh start. And the Madonna will stay here. Kingsbridge will attract visitors and donations again. You mean I should be thankful for these lies and tricks? Jack! Aliena! You came back! We wanted to see you, little sister. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. But look at you! And the little one! Tommy. How are the others? Alfred left Kingsbridge. Richard shows up every now and then. And Ellen returned to the forest. We need to visit her. Father lives with her now. What's wrong, Martha? I'm glad you're back. I am too. Very glad. She looks like she's about to cry. She will weep for your suffering, Kingsbridge. She knows your pain. What now? The miracle! Her eyes are wet. <gasps> her eyes. Look at her. They're shining. She cannot hold her tears any longer. She is made of wood. It's impossible. Why are you weeping? She is mute ever since her husband died. The Madonna has <gasps> suffered as I have. She understands. <laughs> It seems through her faith in all of your lies. 
Mary has found a miracle. We can't keep trying to repair Kingsbridge by ourselves. Things are not improving. We're struggling to keep things as they are. But we can't afford to hire help. Without farming and fairs, we're back to prior James's time. All these past years, my advice was good enough for you. But it appears you've changed your mind now, again. It is time we started doing something to wake up and make Kingsbridge what it used to be. We did before and we can do it again. I'm not willing to accept a risk like that. Don't you remember what happened last time? My, my, how easily we forget. I remember well. And still, you put your trust into a group of random strangers to make things better. Philip, why in God's name have you stood by and let this happen? They're tricking us into giving them money for false idols. They are giving us money. So that we'll place this idol in our priory? Do you approve of this? No, I don't approve of their deception. The Madonna is a trick, no miracle. But the people have already decided, and I won't take away the hope they found. Did you not see what happened to Mary? I saw. And I see that you intentionally turn a blind eye to the lies of your friends. I'm warning you. I cannot support a prior who tolerates heresy. Your threat won't sway me. No matter how unconventional, their return and their gift are a blessing. You made your decision, Philip of Gwyneth. And now, I make mine. I resign. I'm leaving the Priory.